What's up everyone, this is Alex. I'm here to show you today what the rampant style kits are like. So I'm going to show you guys the videos that I have created with these style kits and some footage I got. And then I'll kind of show you a little breakdown of what happened to get them to where they are now. So here's the first one. This is kind of mocking a reel you can do, like a company reel or a production company reel or a personal reel, any reel. Okay, these things are awesome. So let's dive into the timeline. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro 2018, I believe, CC 2018. So this is what it looks like. It's very simple. It was a very simple timeline. Um, the title is actually one of Rampant's essential graphics. So these things are awesome. I think I paid $4 for this or something. It's super cheap. You drag it in here, and it says action titles. So you type in type in your title number one, so maybe it's Alex, and then it pops in, and you can change the size of it. You can change the position, the scale, the tracking, and then the second line is like, you know, is super cool. And then you got Alex is super cool in this glitchy... So then when you play it back, I put some sound effects underneath, and you hear them, they're just a little another effect, make it seem a little more realistic that it's glitching. And then this is the easiest thing. I picked this music track from Soundstripe. I really like it. It sounds awesome. It's just upbeat. It's perfect for what I was going for. So I just kind of made this text go along with it, and this is just the text right built into After Effects. You go in, you click it, you type, Alex. I'm going to put it back where it was, but it's super easy. That's one of the best things I think about this Premiere Pro CC. You get all that. So as we keep going, let's find some style kits. It pops into this. I'm a big fan of the speed ramps. If you watch some of my work, there's speed ramps everywhere. I like putting speed ramps on everything. It just adds another little effect. These were very subtle, but they added a little pizzazz. And as you go on, first style kit. There it is. Oh my gosh, I got so excited to start knocking stuff over on the uh, desk. So we go on here. This is a super simple style kit. This is inside the sports style kit. So if we open it up. So this is the sports style kit. It's right here. There's four packs inside of it. You got transitions. So the guys over at Rampant, they made these things. They look awesome. The coolest part, I think, is that they're 4K. So you can take it. This one I scaled down so it fit my timeline. I was editing a 1080 timeline. And then went over and just for the blend mode, I chose screen. And it looked perfect. It just adds this crazy transition between the two and some flashes. But you can experiment. You can use add or maybe use a luma key or there's a million different ways you can use these. And the other cool thing is if you want to use this one again, you can scale it to a giant 100 or 116 and move it around in here. And then you get a totally different effect and no one will ever notice that you changed it. So as we keep moving down, this next clip has some more speed ramps and then... What is it? Another style kit. You know it. There it is. Another awesome style kit. And what is it this time? It's another screen. When you turn it on, it's just a great transition between the two. And then I did it again on this clip. This clip without, if I disable this mat, it just fills the screen. But then this whole layer that I have here, this whole track, video 2, its sole purpose is for mats. So I put this mat on here, and if we watch it back, it shows that it just pops in these white boxes. So then when we go back onto this video clip, we put on some set mat, and we choose video 2, alpha channel, and it just makes it look like it's appearing like that. And then I put some stuff on top. I put some light effects. I think these are like some dust splashing around in there. Yeah, you can see it in there. You got some dust again. It's screen. I put the mat on that so it didn't look like it was splatting around outside of the video. It's right on the inside. So I love these things. We keep going through. We got some more light effects. I love myself some light leaks. If you watch my work, again, that's another thing I put in everything. Light leaks. 
So as we keep going around, we got more light leaks. We got these little things. These are cool. If I turn the light leak off, it's just like some bouncing lines around the screen. This one I did overlay. So the other cool thing about these style kits is if you don't do anything on the ones with like animated graphics, they already have the transparency built into them, so you don't have to do anything. So for this one, I just did some overlay, and it worked perfectly because the black was already gone. It was just a white line splashed around on there, and it looked great when you add in some light effects. One thing I did like doing is I was switching them around a little bit, so I would reuse them, but I would change the color. So on this one, I put the little color balance effect, and I boosted the blues and took the greens and reds down, and it just gave it a totally different effect, and you would never notice that I reused it. I cross-dissolved them just so they blended a little bit between the two of them. And then down here, we have another of those splashy line thingies. But this time, it's X's, and I did overlay again just so it matched the last. And then when we add it back on, we got some more light leaks up there. So as we keep going, you see this light leak is splashing around. And then you have another mat on this clip. So this clip is on top here, and the mat is here again, so it sets the mat, so the mat makes a transition in, in this very different than expected way. I think it looks awesome. Everything in these style kits is awesome. They just get better and better. If you have any questions about the mats, I know a lot of the other guys that have used these style kits have touched on it. I know that Sean, on the Rampant YouTube channel, has touched on this a ton. So you can go check all those videos out. There's a million tutorials on it. But super easy way is just do the set mat on them. So as we keep going, I got some more on here. So this time we got like this light blast type of thing. It just swooshes through because it's getting to the end of the track. So we want to do a big finale. So we got another light leak on top of there. And then some of these boxes. So this is what I'm talking about. This one set at 100%. But if you boost it down to 50 It'll give you a totally different effect on this 1080 timeline. You can really do anything with all of these. So then you keep going, you see some more of my favorite light leaks, more light leaks, and then ends out again with that essential graphics template. But this time, I took the background out, so you see over here on the essential graphics panel, you can turn it on or off. Okay, so our next video, I titled it the campfire video. It's just some fun footage of friends sitting around a campfire, and we used the love style kit. So this one is so simple, but it adds a totally different vibe. If you go in here, this is supposed to be like a little music video. That's why we had some lyrics in the music. I'm going to mute the music again. It's from Soundstripe. Great track. I just trimmed it up a little bit in there. So the footage is just some campfire footage. And basically, this one was just a lot of light leaks. I love those light leaks. But when you open up this love pack over here, you see that there's animated effects. So that gold that popped up, the heart that popped up right here. I think this is the heart. Yep, so there it is. Pops up. Looks all beautiful. All 4 k -ness. You got mats. You got dust. You got light effects, transitions. You got it all. So I used a lot of the light effects on here. You can see at the top, I have some dust with the overlay effect. You can see it very faintly if you really pay attention. So right here, this is one of the animated effects. You can do them at 50%, as I said before. And it'll show up on the whole screen. But I did this one at 121 and it just gave a cool little outline to the screen, I thought. And there's still a light leak playing on the screen. It's actually like a big flare. So then I put on some more. This one is add. I did some add on this one. Gave it a little more brighter feel. It just blends a little differently. And then the next one starts. And it adds on top again. So when you scrub through, you see it adds on. And then we keep going. And at the end... There's just a few light leaks. You got another little animated effect. It's on 62% just f so it filled some of the screen, but not like you couldn't tell what, that it was a heart. But what can I say? Rampant always makes good stuff, but these are some of the best products for 
video makers. If you shoot weddings, if you do promo videos, these things are awesome. They are 20, 30 bucks, and you get all of these effects. If you open it up, there are, what is this, six? I can't even count. Six folders of effects for $20.